Hi guys! So, I bet you're wondering why you're above me. Well, went to the Goodwill again, and for $13 and something cents, I got amazing, amazing, high-end retail value finds. Oh my gosh, this is completely a title of Goodwill Luxury Haul. I am so majorly excited. I want to show you guys what I got, but before I do, please don't forget to thumb up this video. Helps me a lot to know what you guys like to see on my channel. And without further ado, let's get into the luxury haul. Oh my gosh, so excited, guys. Okay, guys, rocking this haul. I am so majorly excited. want to show you guys the bag. It is authentic. Now I'm going to save my very best for last, but the first thing I want to show you guys that I picked up, they gave this to me for the shirt price. It was like $4.99 or something like that. I still don't care. It is this beautiful jacket kind of blazer thing. It's warm. Um, it came with a belt, but they didn't have the belt, so I really don't care. I'm going to rock this thing any other way that I can throw it. Hold on one second. I have to find the buttons, and I'm looking in the mirror, of course, to my far right. Ooh! Mmm! Mm-mm. She said what? She said what? Fabulous. Oh my gosh. They had this there for a while. Ooh, I'm going to be rocking this puppy. Oh my gosh, you can roll up the sleeves a little bit. It has pockets. Um, it is lined inside, kind of fleece material. But, ugh, feast your eyes. I never really had a fitted jacket like this before. Has a little bit more stretch for us bigger, chubbier girls. Just a little bit. But, oh my gosh, guys. Mmm. Ooh la 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 la. You know I'm going to rock it. Oh. Love this coat. It's been there for a while, but I never really got it a lot. Didn't, you know, want to spend that much money on it, but then I saw it. I had to get it. Had to get it. Hands down, had to get it. So, of course, my beautiful coat. Oh, and the brand here is L.A. Kitty. L.A. Kitty. Um, I don't think it has an inner tag. Nope. I think the care instructions here are just as is, but yes, LA Kitty jacket, love it to death, great find on the that The next one. thing that I found, I really do have to wash it, it's another like jacket kind of thing, this one is by Amanda Smith, it's a size 12, Amanda Smith, it has a little bit of some discoloration there, and like a little bit there, but no problem, no harm, no folly. <laughs> Um, it's another fitted jacket, but I don't know if it's really that fit. I might bring this one back. I'm not entirely sure about it. Um, the other one fits me really good. This one was a dollar on the clearance rack because they always have sales with the color tags. This one was clear. So I might keep it. I might not. I, whoa, that's totally buttoned wrong. Sorry, guys. Hold on one second. So yeah, what do you guys think? Um, it's got cute little bow pockets. It's kind of, I don't know. It's an I don't know kind of thing. So. Mm, bless me, guys. Woo! So it's okay. Um, push comes to shove. I'm probably going to give it to somebody, you know, clean it up, jazz it up. Have my mom, you know, deck it out and stuff like that. But the line inside is really clean. So, it's okay, but, <coughs> sorry guys, always happens when I'm on camera, don't know why, but, yeah, so, and Amanda Smith, dollar, clear tag. The next thing that I got, of course I want to stock up for winter, it is exceptionally hot outside, but it is getting cooler in the, I want to say evening and morning. So the next thing I got here for the winter months, this here is a Marana kind of pullover thing. It has, it's just a gray pullover, but it has like the Argyle stuff. So, nothing really wrong with it. It's in brand new condition, which I'm excited for. So, I wanted something that was kind of baggy, kind of not, so I can button it up. It has buttons. Something like that. Something or other. And this one, guys, was another dollar. Couldn't believe it. 
but it was. They had a restock, so excited for this one. Um, I'm not quite sure what the brand Morona is. I'm not sure. Huh. Watch it be maternity. Hmm. I don't know. But, yes, there's not a lot of things wrong with it. Just has like a little snaggy poo right there, but I can just trim that off. No problem. So, yes. Good find on that one. The next thing that I got here is a sister's um, shirt. I'm not quite sure what to say. Here's the brand. Hold it up. It's just a simple baggy kind of bat winged thing. Kind of like the one that I got in my other Goodwill haul. But this one is a lot better. Oh, had a surprise. Eee. But. <coughs> ah -ha! Sorry guys. So much allergies. So I'm going to quickly put this on. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like on because I love it. I adore it actually. Okay, got it on. Ooh, do I love it. It's cute. It's loose. It's baggy. And it's just really comfy in case, girls, you have a fat month. Because, <laughs> fat time. Let's just say it that way because naturally in winter, when it's, the seasons start changing, you gain weight. It's natural body occurrence. But, yes, for this, I love it. I love it. I want some more of it. And a dollar on top of that. Another clear, clear thingy tag. So, yes, this here is... A beautiful sister shirt. I love it. I rock it every day. Ooh, love it. So, another good, very good find on this one. Okay, guys. Time to my final two items that are probably worth their weight in gold. I am just saying this now. Oh my gosh. So, I went into the purse section, like I always do, just to see. Usually my Goodwill, it's not the best or cleanest environment ever, but they must have got a restock in. They say they restock every single day. I'm not quite sure about that. I'm <laughs> not quite sure. But from the, what the guy told me, someone who was rich in the dough, he thinks, donated this stuff because he found a pair of Nikes brand new in the box. Very good. Then he also found several other different items that were expensive that people already picked up. So lo and behold, I looked and I fell in love with this purse instantly. It's, there is nothing wrong with this purse. Let me just say this this way. Nothing wrong, no rivet out of place, nothing. Completely new besides the tags. Ah! So the first thing here I must say is beautiful hardware, that kind of stuff. But if you look at the front, homosella, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Every rivet is in place. Every single thing is still there. No discoloration on this purse. No rips. No tears. Quite literally phenomenal. These little ringlet things kind of move around a little bit. But inside, if you are wondering what the brand is, usually I'll go into my cell phone and I will look and compare the prices of the brands and stuff like that just in case I wanted to, you know, sell it or whatever the case may be. But this brand here is Genuine Leather Sabrina. So right there, Genuine Leather Sabrina. Oh my gosh, guys, quite literally, I looked it up, $30, $40 purses in that price range. The inside, completely clean. Let me just say this right now, completely clean. I know you can't see that really good, look at that. Shiny, new, completely clean. Now, he couldn't find the price tag on it because these things move around, I guess, was like deep inside there, inside this pocket here. So originally it was $4.99. He gave it to me for two something. Woohoo! You better believe, Mama Likey. Mama Likey, Mama Likey. Ooh, very good. So for a $30 to whatever, I uh, would probably around $45 genuine leather purses. Ha <laughs> ha! Beautiful, beautiful, all in its beautiful glory. So happy about this one. And now, guys, without further ado, we're going to move on to my number one find from the Goodwill. Oh my god, I found purses that ranges from 64 Usually the purses are a little bit more expensive. This thing is spot on. So, without further ado, let's move on to the next clip. Ooh. Okay, guys, whew, I'm sweating. It's so hot in my house. Now, to put it in perspective of this item, um, the I guess the counter lady for the jewelry was there this time around. 
she was laying everything out and she was counting it and I'm like, is this stuff for sale? This one particular item. And she said, oh no, not yet, I'm counting it. Well, I walked away thinking, darn, maybe I should just hang out and hopefully pray to God when she gets done, I can grab it and swipe it. Another girl had it in her hand, she said, oh no, not yet, and so the lady, I guess, didn't speak English, but she walked away. So, finally, I was talking to the girl and to the guy, and I said, oh, he goes, can I ring you up? And I said, I really want to buy that, so I'm going to wait until she's done. And he says, oh no, don't worry, I'll just, um, I can add it up for you now, so she, when she's done counting it. So the woman made a mark on the paper and gave it to me for a dollar fifty. Ladies and gentlemen, have you ever heard of Brighton? I have! It's in my local town, slash village, slash wherever the hell I am, and it's expensive. Me, I don't pay no $45, $60, $64, whatever, the $77, I've seen a whole bunch of prices in there, for a piece of jewelry. Unless it is real diamond on my finger, in my neck, whatever it is, I don't pay that. I could never pay that. I don't want to pay that. Never could. Same with the bracelets. They range in price, depending on how bling they are and how thick and chunky they are, and... Mm -mm, this girl don't play that. I ain't gonna do that. Lo and behold, I'm looking on this case, and yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is a real Brighton. Real Brighton bracelet. She gave it to me for a dollar fifty cents. And let me just say it has some wear and tears. I don't give a shit. Sorry. I really do not care. This here is a Brighton bracelet. Look at how thick it is. My hands are shaking. I'm so excited. Sorry for my nails, guys. Real Brighton, there's the inside, and on the end of it, this is how I can tell, real Brighton here, there is a B right there, oh, you guys can't see that B really good, or it's appearing backwards on my camera, B right there, the hearts on the clasp, you can see that, and there is, besides wear and tear, Nothing wrong with this thing. Oh my gosh. Guys, hello and goodbye. Shut the front door. <laughs> Even the bird likes it. You better believe Mama be happy. I am so majorly happy that the guy I was talking to, he sees me go in there often just to check, knows me, likes me, and quite literally sold it to me. I've always wanted a genuine Brighton item without paying or breaking the bank for that. Yes. Yes, yes. Snap, snap. A million times yes. By far the best item I have personally ever found from the Goodwill. Just because I like Brighton. Brighton stuff. Foxy, you know, got a lot, gets a lot of Brighton sometimes. That's why I got into it. <laughs> I ain't paying no sixty-four seven dollars for it. Oh no, I'll wait for something to go to the Dollar Tree or whatever the case may be, or I'll get the cheap stuff. But yes, genuine Brighton, all the crystals still intact, everything. Woo! Shut the front door. So majorly excited. I cleaned this up, and it looks just mm, mm, so amazing. The wear and tear is like a little bit right there. The black stuff. I don't know, supposedly it's, I don't know, they're good or something like that because they use a special coating or whatever the crap may be. They're thick, I don't know. But if I'm paying $64 for something, I want a genuine item, like genuine diamonds. But guys, ho oh, ho, hot mama Teresa, you get it, I got it. So majorly excited for this $1.50 item that is Brighton. Okay guys, that there is my... Luxury Goodwill haul. I hope you guys do like to all my subbies. Mwah! Thank you so much for giving me the time of day. I love you guys so, so much. You have no idea how much I love you guys. Um, I lost some subscribers. I gained some subscribers. You know, I'm just trying to get to a thousand, whatever the case may be. If you like Goodwills, click that subscribe button down below. If you like hauls from the Dollar Tree, click that subscribe button. If you just like me, click a thumbs up and then hit that subscribe button. Okay, guys, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, my little apples, or I want to I wanna know, what do you guys want me to call you? I always like apples. I always pick apple heads, melons. I don't care. That's just me. Kidlins, chitlins, I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below, guys. I'll see you guys again next time on the other YouTube Boohoo. Have a wonderful day, and go check your local Goodwill, because you never know. You might find some killer items. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. So, really quick. 
I went back to the Goodwill. It's a day after, still wearing the bracelet I found and the cool shirt. I love the shirt so much. Well, all blue tags were on sale. I only found one item I just wanted to share with you guys because it's really cute. Um, I got this one. It was like originally $2.99 or something like that as a shirt, but then they lowered it down because of the blue tag. <laughs> blue tag, so happy about that. And it came down to $1.50. It is, I love this shirt so much. So the thing that it is, is this one right here. This is the brand. And I love this shirt. Who would give this shirt up? So it has pretty embellishments, as you can see. All the beads are still intact. Nothing wrong. And if you can see that, it's very flowy and it does fit, thank goodness, with some stretch. You know, covers the pooch very nicely. As you can see. Very pretty. I love this shirt. And it really does, it's nice. And it is long, so it kind of comes down past the bum. You can wear it with leggings and boots. I'm planning to rock this out if I go to a New Year's party or something like that. Some leggings and some boots. It's going to be pretty cool. Just look at that. Oh, $1.50. Woo, I love Goodwill. Dee! Okay, guys, just wanted to share with you really quick. This little find found it today, just a day after, and I love it. I think it's a good common to everyday find. Okay, don't forget to thumbs up this video and all that good jazz. Love you guys so much. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe. Mwah.